I'm Dr. Xia from Peking Union Medical College Hospital. Uh, our manuscript focused on the management of osteoporosis with calcitriol in elderly Chinese population. Calcitriol is also called 125-dihydroxyvitamin D. It is the active forms of vitamin D metabolites. The active vitamin D is delivered to targeted organ such as small intestine, bone, kidney, and the parasitic gland. It plays important roles in many biological processes. After binding to the vitamin D receptor, the main active action include bone metabolism and muscle function. As the country with the biggest population in the world, China is facing a big problem of osteoporosis. Calcitriol is a particular recommended in the Chinese guideline in managing osteoporosis. It is thus necessary to clarify the evidence surrounding the use of calcitriol on osteoporosis in the Chinese population. Studies revealed here include six randomized controlled trials on the calcitriol monotherapy and five RCTs on calcitriol combination therapy. Evidence from this trial showed that calcitriol monotherapy can improve bone mineral density in elderly Chinese osteoporosis patients compared with the control group with placebo in 12 months. It also decreased bone turnover marker and bring about significant improvement to muscle strength. Long-term effects of calcitriol monotherapy, however, may be unsatisfactory, and this is an area in need of further research. Combination therapy was provided to be capable of producing additional bone-perceiving effects. Compared to the use of calcitriol alone, there, these effects were shown in area included BMD, bone turnover markers, bone pain improvement, and the fracture incidence. Hypercalcemia and hypercalciuria, the most common side effects of calcitriol therapy, were absent from the review of the trials, which might have been result of low dosing.